Let the dice tell the story. What happens when the realm gate is destroyed? Some crumble away, the ancient archways, losing the magic that binds it to the realm. They topple and break, scattering whatever magical energies that are left within them into the air and returning it to the aether void. Nothing remains except empty ruins haunted by the battles that have taken place. But some gates react far more violently, shuddering as if the realm itself was retching in response. The magical energies that hold the path between the two realms twist, pulling the realms asunder. Thunderclaps overhead, volcanoes explode in protest, and the earth trembles with quakes as the arcane energy suffused within these gates break free and wreak havoc upon the realms that they sit upon. A bright flash and deafening boom may be heard far across the planescape. The creatures hundreds of miles around may feel the reverberation as reality bends and splinters, the arcane gateways collapsing into themselves and pulling everything in the surrounding area. Those unfortunate enough to be caught within the blast would likely be shredded by the torrent of energy, their physical forms being shattered into the tiniest of fragments. The land would rend and nothing but a gaping hole remain in their wake. Swallowed up in the ensuing calamity, the huge landmasses of the realms were banished into the Aetherfold. Held together by the once binding magics of the realm, they coalesce and amassed further chunks of the realms whenever a gate was destroyed until a new plane of existence was created. This place, the interstice of the realms, as quality of all the realms, yet immeasurably more suffused with magic. Wild storms rage across these plains as the different landscapes of the realms are forced to interact with each other. In the lands where the peace of Chamon may border Akshi, you may find hailstorms of molten silver. Where Giran and Ugu meet, you may find the life-giving rainstorms to be tainted with the darkest of shadows sending the landscape into an eclipsing downpour. Living spells find their home here, as uncontrolled magic runs rampant everywhere, feeding upon the strong aura of the arcane that is ever present in the interstice. Creatures of the somehow managed to survive the disaster will have been warped beyond recognition into monsters of terrible power. The existence of the interstice may have been hidden away for a long time, Unknown and untouched by the denizens of the other mortal realms. Without true realm gates to link into the interstice, there is no purpose for way to come here. However, those that stray from the path during a journey through a realm gate, or just unfortunate enough to get lost, may find themselves hurtled into this plane, a frontier world of ever-changing landscapes and unpredictable dangers. The stale air and stench of death permeates throughout the Amethyst Peninsula. An ever-present feeling of morbid dread lingers in the air, as even in the forgotten reaches of the interstice, the grip of Nagash never seems too far off. The ground is littered with amethyst gemstones, thus giving name to this place. A caution to those with greed in their eyes should turn away before their lust brings them to ruin, for coveting these gemstones too long will steal anyone's soul, leaving an empty husk to wither away in this harsh landscape. It is unknown whether the shadows of Ulugu existed here before the Great Dusk Ones. Regardless of, what came before, Regardless of what came before, these lands are now covered in an ever-present umbra. Ever present umbra. The oldest of these trees seem to stretch infinitely high into the sky, blotting out any hope. Blotting out any hope. Blotting out. Even those brave explorers, not shackled to the ground, rarely reach a glimpse of light, and 
is the loftiest of heights. Yet in the permanent darkness and unreachable gloom, valuable prizes glitter ever present, brightly hidden, brightly hidden sight. The beautiful realm of Haish is captured well in the crystalline fields. Hills and mountains of perfectly carved stone dot the landscape, while radiant beams of light illuminate every corner here, the brilliance of which comes mainly from the diamond apex, the tallest mountain of the lands. Its peak can be seen to be flashing with awe-inspiring brilliance, even from hundreds of leagues away. Yet, despite the aesthetic appeal of this place, few dare to venture, let alone settle within this area, for the shining lights do not seem to fade away even with the daylight, but linger on it as a permanent beacon. It drives out darkness even in the deepest of caverns, and mortal creatures may be driven mad by the sleep deprivation this may cause. Not only this, but the scintillating beams of light may even become hostile, searing eyes and flesh as if a lancet of concentrated force. As some may have learned, the beauty of these lands should be appreciated only from afar. Our lands from afar appear to be ever smoldering as geothermic geysers, volcanoes, and ever burning chasms produce a prodigious amount of steam, smoke, and ash. The air is stifling here, even in the most generous of seasons, with the acrid smell of choking smoke constantly lingering throughout. Those that can bear these burdens find themselves in lands that would offer suitable protection from others, as the inhospitable conditions often enough to ward off would-be invaders. But those that find their home here live in precarious conditions, as even dormant volcanoes can awaken from their slumber unexpectedly, often with an unruly temper. Where some parts of the interstice may hold dangerous landscapes, the beastland wastes offer a much more active threat. Creatures here are driven to a frenzy-like state of fight or flight, and even docile creatures can become hostile, as if something to trigger a survival instinct. It is unknown what causes creatures to act this way, as those that wander into these lands often see these changes in behaviors come on quite insidiously. The strongest of these creatures become fiercely territorial, and seemingly seek out and attack any that would challenge its claim. Landscape is vast and empty, except for the masses of bones that lay littered about to mark any recent territorial disputes. An emerald sea of jungle and forest spreads out as far as the eye can see when looking out over the Grand Lush. Plant life grows at an explosive rate here, and the cycle of life death, decay, and rebirth seem to happen all at once. Torrential downpours drench the land in life-giving water, but at the same time can cause dangerous floods to wipe out entire swaths of land. Fires can be devastatingly dangerous here, as the dense plant life makes an uncontrolled fire almost impossible to contain, leading to catastrophic levels of destruction. But no matter the disaster and scale of damage, it is quickly taken over again by the overgrowth get on lush. As conducive to life it is here, it is not without its dangers, for where competition for sunlight or water is fierce, some species of plants have resorted to seeking out other sources from the local fauna or wanderers of the forest. Few sentient creatures make their home in the iron peaks or the rusted coast. As the shifting landscapes makes it almost impossible to truly settle down in. Mountain ranges seem to amass and disappear over the course of several days. Even rivers and lakes form and disappear without warning, leaving aquatic life stranded to die. Worse still, aggressive creatures seem to wander over from the beastland wastes and end up getting trapped like a cornered wild animal. The rusted coast sloughs off tons of corroded metal into the ocean each day, as the shifting landscape pushes the tarnished masses into the water. But within these large chunks of plainscape that fall into the abyss, untouched and pristine gemstones and rare metals may be found, and thus 
daring seekers may find a trove of riches on the brink of going into the depths, if they are brave enough to reach for it. Thank you for viewing our channel. If you'd like to see more, please like and subscribe. We also have a Facebook page and Instagram accounts. Links are within the channel banner. Take care and happy wargaming.